What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up and hanging out, listening to my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. So, once again, once again, change the scenery. But um, an addendum, append, append, in addition to the news of recent where Death Stranding Super Dope Edition is on the Xbox and dark unicorns and ponies are just losing their mind because they don't understand what's going on. They only think that third party publishing is subject to Microsoft and not Sony. And they don't, they see it, but they're just ignoring it. They're in denial. So it's like, yo, you see that Lego of the hoe is there, right? You see that all these other games, MLB The Show literally on Game Pass day one it's the, be it's the better version, it's the better deal than the PlayStation used to be exclusive. Well, not used to be, but you know, used to be exclusive. And first party studio making games for Xbox Game Pass, they were the first, if you want to be real. I mean, Minecraft, that was already on PlayStation, so that's a count. But a once exclusive now on Xbox Game Pass from Sony themselves. And it's going to keep happening. You know, Death Stranding, I hear the excuses. Oh, that's Kojima. That's not That's not PlayStation. That's not a PlayStation IP, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It was exclusive. It was kind of posited as Kojima is Sony, is PlayStation, is exclusive. And now, guess what? On Xbox. Guess what I think also? Death Stranding 2 It's probably going to be on Xbox too. Maybe even on Game Pass, depending on what Kojima said. Because Kojima is like, yo, give me that money, son. I'm already getting that bag from Xbox. Give me an extra bag, please. Because, like I said, when the bottom line is the bottom line, and the bottom line is money. And when it all comes down to it, that is the thing that's going to dictate the direction of these companies. Sony's just lagging behind because they want to hold on to that antiquated model, business model of, oh, sell, sell consoles to sell games. Microsoft figured out a way to do that, the second part, the most important part, the making money part, sell games and also MAUs because of the whole live, um, live service model. And Sony doesn't have that. In first party, they don't have a live service model. They have GT7, that's about it. What else? I guess you could say MLB, but... So they're, they're really, like if you look at what's going on in the industry, and you look at what Sony's doing, you know, they're trying to catch up. People don't want to say that, people don't want to admit that, but that's what's happening. And I'm like, yo, it's like, it's happening in front of us. The, the downfall of PlayStation is happening in front of us. Now, I'm not saying that they're gonna go away forever. They're getting degraded. Meanwhile, everybody else is getting elevated and upgraded, you know, especially Xbox, because they needed it the most because of the last gen, right? But they're making all the moves to predicate and to get them into the position to do that. And then when it's happening, when it happens and it is happening in front of our faces, the ponies and the dark unicorns have no recourse. They have no way of combating the narrative because the narrative is the narrative. The truth is the narrative. And the truth will be dictated by that, that money. That's the truth of these companies. Not, oh, you know, PlayStation is better because of this. It doesn't matter why you think PlayStation is better. What's going to lead the future and the fate of PlayStation is them, their ability to make money. Them, their ability, them there, their ability to be successful making that money, selling games, having players play their games. And with the recent evidence, it doesn't seem like they're doing a good job of that because their exclusive games aren't selling. The third party exclusive game, they do these money had a deals and the third party studios are realizing we are getting destroyed out here. We're not selling what we need to because we're putting all this money. We're, we're using the Sony PlayStation model of, oh, high production value and, and movie-like quality. And then, boom, it's done because nobody's buying it. Million, million sales, two million sales if you're lucky. And that's for a legacy super dope hit like Final Fantasy VII, Rebirth, Afterbirth, whatever it's called. And then they're not selling any. And I'm like, what, why? You know, and they're realizing this. And so Square Enix, everything's going to Xbox. Uh, what was the other company? I think Toy, Toy, uh, Tecmo, Koi Tecmo, Toy, Koi Tecmo. Uh, did they say something? I thought they had a game or something coming. That a few, I think they had said something about the, their games too. But all of these companies are realizing what they need to do. And Microsoft, being 
a first party hardware manufacturer and them doing it is an example to all these other third party only studios that are making games saying, well, if they're doing it and they're first party and they have a console, then, and they're looking at the numbers. This, this is the thing that the ponies and the donkey unicorns don't realize. Everyone's looking at the numbers. And when Microsoft puts out their numbers, like, yo, everybody's looking at it. Capcom's looking at it. Square Enix is looking at it. It's like, if we do what they're doing, meaning putting their games everywhere for the most part, money, more money. And that's the, that's, that's the bottom line. And like I said, the bottom line is the bottom line. And everyone realizes what the bottom line is when it comes to, you know, selling games or having these re reoccurring uh, profits, basically, from Game Pass, from online services or just games themselves, you know, World of Warcraft and such. You know, and so, like I said, it's inevitable that Sony follows suit. It's just a matter of what games they're going to do it with and the time's going to get shorter and shorter. You look at Death Stranding, what is that, a year? Or maybe it's like two years or something like that, right? I don't know, I can't remember. But, you know, that's that's what's up. And that's what it's going to be moving forward. And we're going to see the, the gap get shorter and shorter. And that's, that's just what it is, you know, what you got to do. But anyway, I appreciate you showing out. I like, subscribe. Hit me in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the ever-changing landscape of video games, third-party publishers, Welcome PlayStation to, well, they were the first, but whatever. We won't get into that too much. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. I appreciate y'all. And maybe I'll do another video from this exotic location. Who knows? Preach. I'll talk to y'all next week. Wait.